Hey everybody. Okay, well, so tonight we got some things we just need to fix out here, you know. Um, no matter how hard you work, no matter how hard you plan, it seems like uh, there's always something that goes wrong. And tonight we have two things that we need to work on. First, one of my Arduino units, I accidentally wired the DC plug incorrectly. This little guy right here. So we're going to go ahead and rewire it tonight and make sure everything's set up so it, it works. Uh, this is controlling one of the water valves to the grow bed, so we're going to get it taken care of. And I also have a problem with the lane 3 heater. I believe that the fuel pump, uh, the fuel filter might be clogged. There might have been some dust or something in it when I got it brand new. Might have been some uh, dirt in the fuel that I used and it's not burning correctly. Lane 2 is working fine as far as the heater goes. Uh, the only problem I have in lane 2 right now is this little plug and then uh, lane 3 has the heater problem. So let's go ahead and get started fixing those things. So we're looking at the lane 2 Arduino control unit right now and again here's the plug that we need to replace. Normally it goes right through the side here. These two wires are cut right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything put back together and then we have to make sure that this relay is going to work. Okay, so this turned out to be a pretty easy fix. I just had the positive lead on the wrong terminal here. So I'm gonna get this temporarily all buttoned up and it should be good to go. I already tested it and it's working. So I just gotta put it back together. Easy fix, makes me very happy. Easy night. Pretty comfortable right here. Sadly, this thing won't fix itself. Even though I've taken the top off and waited for the gremlins to show up and try to solve all of my problems for me, it seems that that particular strategy was failed from the beginning. So, I've got the instructions out, and according to the instructions, one of the things that can commonly happen is that the fuel filter gets plugged. So, I'm going to take this plate off. I've already got the cover off. I've got the power disconnected. And we're going to get in there and see if we can't find this fuel filter and clean it out and get this thing running again. My weapon of choice tonight is my handy dandy multi-tool. Just some brute force. Uh, okay. Well, I'd say that looks pretty clean. It doesn't appear to be anything in there, really. Yeah, that looks really clean. I guess that wasn't the problem. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the spark igniter and the fuel injector here and see if we can't find something wrong. The fuel injector, and it actually looks fine. I mean, it's got diesel in it. And the fuel injector looks fine as well. I don't see anything visibly wrong. Blowing it out, everything seems fine, so we're going to have to dig in deeper here and see where the flow problem is. There's a pressure adjustment that's on this particular unit, and I think what was happening is somehow it got jostled around. So I'm going to be in here adjusting the pressure to make sure the right amount of fuel is getting up here. The problem that I was having is that I was getting incomplete combustion through the chamber. It just wasn't working right. So I'm messing around with the pressure right now just going from high to low. Oh, there, too low. And it went to its shut off state. Let's crank that back up here. I should get a puff of smoke. Boom. So 
it appears to me what was happening is the pressure was the pressure was too low. Just turn the light off and see what it looks like. Ooh, pretty fire. A little more fire. By adjusting the pressure, what I'm doing is increasing the amount of fuel that's being burned. Which will add more heat into the building. In the tent, I should say. So I'm, I'm right next to the fan of this uh, heater. And if you're here in real life, it's actually pretty loud. So I wonder, I'm very curious to know what this is going to sound like. Everything appears to be burning correctly in there right now. I messed around with it a little bit more and it looks like there was something in one of the airlines so I cleaned that out. But I still don't feel like I'm getting the right burn and I've got this thing cranked up to full power. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the manufacturer and tell them this stuff's all messed up. Okay, well, let's see here. We had two things we wanted to fix tonight. Uh, we got the valve in lane two, bed three, all fixed up and it's working. Uh, but sadly, the second thing, getting the heater in lane three off fully operational uh, did not work. It is running, uh, it is working, but it, it doesn't seem to be working right. It, Lane 2's heater is getting a lot warmer, uh, better combustion. Uh, lane 2, you can't even really smell anything when it's done burning. At least I can't, right? We've already established I can't really smell anything, but uh, I can smell when there are fumes in the air, and I, I can't smell really any in Lane 2. But Lane 3, it's very uh, predominant. Uh, you can definitely smell it when you go in. So I think that means incomplete combustion is happening, and uh, it looks like it has something to do with airflow. So we're going to have to uh, call the manufacturer, see if we can't get that fixed. Uh, Mrs. Marsh and I are starting our next sprint. This is Sprint 1702, the second sprint in 2017. Our sprints last three weeks. we got some exciting things we're going to be doing this time. I'm going to be working on more sensors. Oxygen sensor and pH sensors are on their way, as well as some carbon monoxide sensors and some more air temperature and humidity sensors coming so we can keep track of even more stuff. I'm hoping to be able to get some voltage and some amp sensors uh, coming as well so that we can measure how much electricity this building is taking. So I'm, all in all, I'm pretty excited about it. We also, in this sprint, are going to have our second delivery to our first customer. Very excited about that. And we're going to be trying to get a second customer. So. We'll see how that all goes. It's an exciting time here on the Real Martian Homestead. Really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch our videos. If you like what you're seeing, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Hey! As well as uh, subscribe to our channel. Thanks, everybody. This is the Real Martian. Have a good night.